Persian rugs. But she's from Nicaragua. I thought she was Persian rugs. So today we have a quick commercial break brought to you by Rose Forever. Rose Forever is a company based in New York and they specialize in long lasting rose arrangements. And I did not know that they were going to be sending me real roses, but these are 100% natural fresh flowers. They are preserved by natural oils to help them last longer and all of the bouquets are handcrafted by professional rose artisans. I chose red roses, but they have other colors as well and each box comes with a care card that teaches teaches you the do's and don'ts of caring for your flowers. They also come in different shapes and sizes so you can get round, square, or heart shaped box and there's even different textures so I got velvet but they have suede, marble, and a crystal clear box as well which is actually so pretty. These will make the perfect gift for yourself or for a loved one. You can get from 9 to 49 roses. So keep this in mind for holiday season and use my code NARIA20 for $20 off at checkout. Good morning, love. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Naraya Omari and we're just going to get right into the video because I know I've been gone off YouTube for like over a month now and... I don't really have a good explanation or a good reason as to why. I guess I've just been stressed out. I've been overthinking. I've been having a lot going on, but I'm just going to spare you all the excuses and we're going to get into what we have to do for the day. Everybody overthinks sometimes and some people actually overthink all the time. Overthinking happens when you're living your life through fear though. Fear of just what's to come, fear of making a mistake or looking stupid, fear of being rejected, and really just fear of any and everything. And when we're fearful, we're not being mindful of the present moment. We're missing out on literally everything that life is offering us right there in the moment because we're too busy worrying about the future or stressing about the past. And I personally don't want to live my life like that anymore. And I don't have to because I know the solution. I know better. And I promise you know the solution too because it's super simple. The solution to not overthinking is to get out of your head. And that sounds oversimplified. I know you're probably like, yeah, duh, but how am I supposed to do that? And that's what the point of this whole video is, going over different strategies that I use to get things done when I'm overthinking. So one of the main things and the biggest thing that I do when I'm overthinking is writing things down. By writing things down, you're literally freeing up space in your brain by just taking your thoughts out of your mind and onto a piece of paper or onto your phone. You can either write it down on actual paper, write it in your notes, write it on your iPad, whatever makes it cute and whatever means that you're going to go ahead and look at it. I literally make a list for every single thing because it keeps me on track. I bought this little travel mug from Five Below and I don't understand how I'm supposed to put a hot beverage in it and the cup itself like gets hot. But anyway, if you like to do laundry, you're like one of God's favorites. If you like to do laundry, you're one of them ones for real because I do not like to do laundry. I don't like anything about it. And I have all of this laundry that needs to be folded, needs to be put away. I still have laundry in the washing machine, needs to be dried. I still have laundry that's folded already upstairs and just has to be put away somewhere. So I'm trying to dedicate myself to really getting this done. And I can't like fold my laundry and just do nothing. So I'm about to put a movie on. That's like one of the hacks to doing laundry or doing whatever chore you don't want to do. Put a show on. So I'm sitting here right in front of the TV and we about to get this laundry done because I can't live my life like this no more. Like just rummaging through the laundry bin. That's what I've been doing. I just go through after I dry my laundry, I put it in back in a hamper and I just go through the hamper and pick out what I need. And I can't be living like that. That's ridiculous. So yeah, that's a little hack for whatever chore you don't like. Put something on TV, put some music on, and just get it done little by little. I already know this is going to take me all day long to get this laundry done. Like, I'm already knowing, but I decided, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. For me, this was the biggest and hardest task that I needed to complete simply because I didn't want to do it. And it's best to do the thing that you don't want to do first so you can just get it out of the way. And that's going to just release dopamine in your brain, which is a chemical that makes you feel good and feel motivated. So if you're looking for motivation to actually get shit done, you have to start by actually getting shit done. Figuring out how you can break things down into smaller pieces is literally the key. 
and spice it up put some music on put a tv show on facetime your best friend you know make it fun we did it we did it we did it we did it i got this laundry folded now i'm not gonna say the next part is gonna be easy but i'm gonna do what i gotta do i'm gonna get everything put away everything is to be put away i need this to be completed now if this was like day one of me trying to do my laundry i would say you know i folded it that's enough but no today is actually day three so now i gotta go all the way and i gotta make sure i get this folded and put away so i don't have to see it anymore like i'm tired of seeing clothes i'm tired finish the things that you start and just admire your progress admire how much you actually did complete and everything that you got done so that you know you feel good about what you're doing for the day so change of pace i don't know if this really works or if i just get distracted easily but after i finish something i'll be like okay now i need a reward and i'm hungry so let's go to panera and get some lunch it's like the perfect fall day out right now so it's a little bit chilly so i'm just feeling like soup and salad and what better place to go to than panera and at the end of the day i'm just a girl so it's like what is all this work without a little treat you know i like to take breaks and switch gears because i don't care what anybody says being responsible is boring adulting is boring and i don't want to force myself to sit through something that i know i don't want to do for an extended period of time a little while i could probably do it but all day is just going to be like torture and that's only going to make the task that much harder and you're really going to procrastinate the next time you have to do it because you're teaching yourself that this is not a pleasurable experience i don't like this so literally when you have that opportunity the next time why would you jump to do it you're not gonna but if you take breaks and you reward yourself you're reinforcing positive behavior you're teaching your brain that it's not that bad because it's really never that bad we're just dramatic but if you're dramatic like me and you're really ready to like overcome this stage in your life and be more productive i've linked some articles down below that are just some quick reads about overthinking the links that it has to anxiety and depression and ways to kind of overcome that and how your brain actually works if you don't know i actually was a psychology major i have a degree in psychology so i'm really into this stuff and i just want to share the information that i know with other people and like i said before you probably know it too we just tend to overlook some of the more simple things in life because we feel like it's too simple and it's too good to be true but girl i promise you it works but if you're watching this video and you're serious about getting your life together getting to know yourself understand your behavior and understand your feelings check out the description box i'll have my ebook linked which i wrote to help women who want to begin their healing journey get to know themselves better and take their life to the next level but let's get back to the video I'm starting to feel regular again vlogging like I don't feel as scared feel back regular so that's all it took is just to turn the camera on Dad was talking about a powder. Why is it in the in the, why is it on sale? Does that mean it's old? You check it. I don't know how. Oh, expiration date. It says 4-2024. Open it. Oh no, that's a little sketchy, you don't think? Alright, I'll try it. It's 240 of them. Oh, I just used it. $240. I was like, no, it's $10 for 240 Yes, I, I, I am so smart for coming here because I knew I was going to find this. Now we don't have to go to Target. She said, I am so smart. I am. Genius. I'm a genius. 
So I have it on my mind to say a prayer, not only for you watching this video, but also for myself, because I usually create what I need to hear in the moment. So first things first, I want to thank God for placing these words upon my heart and in my mind and out my mouth and to your ears. And I pray that this message reaches someone who needs to hear it because I know what it feels like to be stuck in my mind and to want to move, but to lack motivation and purpose and direction. I know how it feels to just feel like everything and every day is pointless. So I ask God that you strengthen us and you allow us to rely on our God-given abilities and utilize our God-given talents for the betterment of the world. And I ask that you allow us to be grateful every day and experience life from a state of love and not a state of fear. Allow us to trust you and trust ourselves to know that we're doing the right thing at the right time and for the right reasons. And with that being said, thank you all for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.